Latvia was occupied in the summer of 1940. The Soviet army entered Latvia and a new government was appointed, which essentially just followed orders given by the Soviet Union. The Second World War was raging in Europe, but the Soviet Union and Nazi Germany had already agreed on their interests in Europe beforehand. They had signed a non-aggression treaty with a secret additional protocol known as the Hitler-Stalin Pact. In the secret protocol, it was agreed that Latvia was in the Soviet sphere of influence. Soon after the occupation started, elections were held in Latvia. Unlike in real democratic elections, where voters can choose from a number of parties, this time, no choice was available. The Soviets did not allow anyone to run against the communist proposed Latvian Working People's Bloc. All attempts to establish alternative lists of candidates failed. Even before the polls had closed, it was announced that the Latvian Working People's Bloc had won with 97.6% of the votes. But what was the purpose of organizing elections where you can only vote for one party? The elections aimed to show that Soviet rule was legitimate, that the parliament was elected by the Latvian people. In turn, the new parliament, the so-called People's Parliament, declared that Latvia was now a Soviet Socialist Republic and sought to join the Soviet Union. In August 1940, Latvia became one of the Soviet Union republics. The Soviet Union was a one-party system. This meant that elections did take place, but only one party was allowed to participate. And of course, this was the Communist Party. Therefore, all power, both political and economic, was in the hands of just one party. Moreover, the Communist Party's influence reached much further, not only to politics. Especially when Joseph Stalin was in power, the state tried to interfere and control all aspects of life, including people's personal lives, a characteristic feature of totalitarian political regimes. The first parliamentary, or as it was called then, Supreme Council elections in Soviet Latvia, with more than one party participating, took place in the spring of 1990. The Latvian Popular Front and other independent supporters won two-thirds of the seats in parliament and made it possible on May 4th, 1990, to adopt the Declaration on the Restoration of Independence of the Republic of Latvia. 